Good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to do a simple hands on exercise which shows you how to build a universal data lake house using Apache X table. We will learn also how to leverage Unity catalog. We will learn how to register these tables into Unity catalog and read data from the Unity catalog. So all of that is there in this small video. I hope this is informative. Uh, so we are going to get started with the video. Before that, I just wanted to uh, walk you over this particular blog post, uh, getting started with Apache X table and Unity catalog uh, hands on guide. All the steps uh, and uh, you know items are explained over here in the blog. So in case if you miss out on anything, please come and check the blog out. Okay. All right. So now we're going to get started with the blog. Okay. So the first thing that we will do is let's create a simple hoodie table on S3. So let's take a look at that over here. I create a spark session. Right. This is the path where I want to build my data lake. This is a mock data, right? I create a Spark data frame on line 35. And then as simple as that, I'm just creating a very, very simple hoodie table. So I'm going to execute this cell. So this will create the hoodie table on S3. All right. So this cell execution has been complete. And if we go to S3, here we can see our hoodie table. There you go. Okay. Now the next step is we have a uh, you know a hoodie table. Now let's learn how to interoperate. Apache X table will simply build the metadata for iceberg and delta. So now you can read as iceberg, you can read as delta. You know it's universal. So the easiest way to get started again would be you need to download this jar file utility hyphen zero dot one dot zero hyphen beta one bundle jar. This is the link. When you go to the link, you will see uh, on the right hand side you can click on the jar file and it will be downloaded. Now on the computer, you can create a file called myconfig.yaml. So now here I'm saying, hey, I have a hoodie table on my S3, as you can see. Target, I want to create a delta and iceberg. Again, when we say target as iceberg and delta, it does not create a brand new table. It will simply build the metadata, okay? Uh, so that's that. And here is the path to the hoodie table on my S3. All right. And then all we need to do is I'm going to run the command Java hyphen jar. We're going to provide the jar file and the config file. Let's run this. Now, again, this is running. So meaning uh, it's building the metadata for me now. So if I go to my S3 and refresh, hey, look at that. We see a delta log. We don't have any files here, but very soon we're going to see some files inside that. Uh, so let's wait for this to complete. This tool is still running, as you can see over here. Once the tool is complete, it will build the you know, metadata for both the table formats. I go to delta log folder and here I can see my delta table you know, metadata. Very good. If I go to metadata, here is my iceberg metadata. Great, man. Great, great, great. This allows us to interoperate now, right? So now let's take a look at that. So now uh, I can read the table as delta or iceberg. Here you can see I'm showing you on Spark. So I'm reading this table as delta. And then I'm also reading this table as hoodie. So I'm just going to execute the cell. Um, this will, of course, print the data frame on my console. Uh, by the way, this particular notebook will be there on my blog. So, you know, feel free to download and try out, right? Uh, as you can see, works fine, right? Now, to try Unity Catalog, uh, you need to download uh, that from their GitHub. So, if you come to my blog over here, you can do uh, following command. Git clone, uh, https github.com slash unity catalog slash unity catalog dot git. If you do a git clone, it will clone on your computer. Now inside that there will be a file, uh, so there will be a folder etc conf inside that server.properties. Put your AWS access secret key over here and the bucket name, this is required. And then you can start your Unity server, right? So I'm going to do that. Uh, let's see. So I can do that by bin slash start hyphen uc hyphen server. This will start uh, the Unity catalog running locally. Perfect, right? Now, if I go to my exercise notebook, now I can register this particular table in the Unity catalog. So I'll simply copy this. I'll open up this shell. And there you can see the table has now been registered. And now I can simply read it, right? I can say bin slash uc table read slash or hyphen full name is the catalog name is Unity. Uh, the schema name is default and the table name, of course. So now look how easily we are able to now read it. So I'm going to go to this terminal, clear this. And I should see that uh, data shortly. So let me see 
डेल्टा टेबल एक्स 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 हु डारा सेट ओ आई थिंक आई नीड टू रिप्लेस माई बकेट नेम सो आई विल डू दैट शॉर्टली सो लेट मी fix that so here as you can see i did not replace my bucket name which is why it throws an error which makes sense so let me delete this table first there you go and now let me copy my s3 bucket name which would be samuel shah dev 1995 and i will replace my bucket name over here copy this command register this table again in unity catalog and now let's try to read data and i should be able to read it now without any problems if your aws access secret key is configured correctly yeah look at look at that you know beautiful 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 so yeah uh, the blog is there which uh, shows you, shows you all the steps and now you have also seen a video guide which means now you have a overall good understanding on how things work so that's all i have for the video exercise notebooks are there blog is available so all you need to do is spend some time read and try this out with that being said if you have any questions i'll be happy to take your questions uh, uh, if i know the if i do not know the answers i probably ask someone or learn myself and probably get back to you with that being said keep smiling keep programming and i'm going to see you in the upcoming next video